Hi, welcome to Street Talk. I'm your host, Loretta Rose. We have a special edition today and it is a Street Talk moment to share with you what's coming up in the community. And this awesome event is a community event and it is to combat violence and spread more love. They're encouraging the young people to be a part of it. It's gonna take place here in Phoenix City. You don't wanna miss it. Our special guest is gonna tell you all about it. You're watching Street Talk here on Bean TV. Joining us here on Street Talk with Loretta Rose here on Being TV. We have a special guest that is going to share with us a community event that will be taking place Sunday, March 7th. And it involves with bringing the young people in the community together so that they can see more peace and hear it. We have Mr. Desi Morgan with The Move, and he's presented this wonderful event here in the community in Phoenix City, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you for coming on Street Talk to share this wonderful community event, much needed. Thank you for having me. As the street's been talking about violence, you are bringing something to combat violence and promote more peace. Tell us about your organization because you are the CEO and founder of The Move. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I love that, the acronym M-O-V-E. Tell us what that means. The MOVE stands for Men of Valor Excelling, and it's a mentoring program that goes out in the community to mentor young men and young ladies uh, just trying to show them a better life and a way to live in this community. And we do need that. How long um, the MOVE has been established? MOVE has been established for a while, almost two years now. Wow. Yes, ma'am. I love it, and I love how you get out in the community. Yes, ma'am. You know, some people have, you know, organizations, and they talk, but you actually get out there with the people. and. I must add, you moving. <laughs> yes, that's what You're it's all moving. about, the move, yes ma'am. <laughs> wow, so tell us what's gonna be taking place Sunday because this is gonna take place in Phoenix City at South Asbury Park Field. Yes ma'am. And what time would this be taking place? It'll be starting around two to two to four. Two to four. Yes ma'am, but we can come early because we're gonna have a DJ and uh, music and we're gonna be cooking hot dogs and hamburgers oh, for the, wow. young, for the young, young people and the, and the older people. Okay. It's going to be the co a community event. Now see, that is such a blessing. You are not only going to inform them and pour out positivity. Yes, ma'am. Positivity. But you're also going to provide refreshments for them as well. Yes, ma'am. I know without people, you know, music and food, that's how you get them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm looking at the flyer and it say no more deaths. Life equals love. Love equals life. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about that. Well, I was talking to one of my friends one day, and my best friend, I was like, man, I need a, a motto to, to put on this program. And, you know, he called me, and he was like, man, we, we, we need to be more concerned about love. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, man. So he gave me this. So when he gave me the motto, it really stuck with me real strong because I, I, that's what we stand on, love and peace. And that's what we get, need to do with the young people, mm -hmm. show them that we love them, that we're concerned, that we want to help them. Wow. And there are people that's out there in this community that really are concerned, that really want to take our community back and really want to get in, involved in our kids' life. And that's the thing we're trying to do, just let them know that we're concerned. We want to be involved with them. Wow. So you're inviting the community and the young people. We yeah. want all the young people in the community to come out. Yes, ma'am. There's no charge for this. No charge. Just show up. Just, just show come. up. No, just show up and wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wow. I love it. Why is it so important for you to just really be reaching out to the young people? Because see, you didn't just start this this year. No. You've been doing this for a long time. Yes, ma'am. I've been reading up on you. Thank you. <laughs> and, but why is it so important that you reach out to them and let these young men know that somebody cares? Yes, it's very important because we don't, we don't reach out to the young generation, they're gonna run to the streets because they feel that the streets are showing them more love. But I learned as, as a, re, a father that if we get out and then we show them how much we love and we're concerned about them, they'll, they'll start doing more positive things than mm -hmm. negative things. Right. And that's the problem right now in Phoenix City and, and Columbus. I think we just need to, to find more activity and uh, 
venues for these young people so they can go out and have a good time. Like back in the day when we used to have the skate center yep. and all those, we used to play hide and go seat and all okay. those things, you know, we need to try to in, yeah. uh, encourage them to start doing more positive things. And we as people and community leaders, we need to try to find out how we can uh, get these new buildings and these places open back up. Mm, wow. You just said something, brother. You just said something because that's part of the problem. Right. They don't have anything to do or right. somewhere to go. Right. And you are right. When we were younger, we had a lot of places right. to go, outlets. Yes, ma'am. And some of them, they don't have that. So they do take to the streets. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Tell us, for those that want to contact you, what's your contact number? How can they be a part? They want to come out. Just, you know, bring the whole family. Right, right. I'm not hard to find. I'm on Facebook, Desi Morgan, and I, my number is 334-540-2327. If you, you need some more information, you can contact me. If you can feel free to look me up on Facebook, inbox me, and we just encourage you all to get your kids and yourselves to come out and support this event. And this is not going to be just the first, and we're planning on, I'm, I'm, we're creating a team right now that we're going to try to take this all uh, same team mobile, mm -hmm. and we're going to go to different neighborhoods and different uh people's areas of crime right. where we're going to set up. We're going to try to do the same thing. We try to have entertainment. We're going to try to have food. And we're going to have different um, teams, community teams that are going to be out there to help support these young people. Wow, I love it. And they need that. And they need to know that someone loved them. Yes. And trying to guide them in the right direction. Yes. So we can build a trust with these young people. Mm. So when they're going through, they come and talk with somebody. Wow. Yes, wow. All right. So it's going to be this Sunday, March 7th, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. That's Eastern in Phoenix City. Yes, ma'am. Address 1806 8th Place, Phoenix City, Alabama, of course, and that is South Asbury Park Hill. We'll have the information on the screen as well. Mr. Morgan, thank you for sharing this. Thank you for having because me. Because the people, the streets talk, as you know. Yes, ma'am. But you're, you're bringing something for them to talk about and then something to help combat what they've been seeing, the negative side. So right. that's what we need, more of the positiveness. And that's what you're doing. And that's what you do with MOVE. So uh, I'm going to let you look into the camera and speak from your heart um, to the young people and just invite them to come out. I want you to speak from your heart to them. Yes. I invite you all, young people, to come out, young generation. If you're caught up, we don't care what you're caught up in right now, what color your flag is. We don't care. We just want to let you know that we love you, we're concerned, and that we want to be there to help you. So we look forward to seeing you Sunday, March the 7th at Asbury Park Field, 1806 8th Place South. And that's the move. We look to see you. Wow. So parents, grandparents, encourage the young people. Take them. If you don't have children, be that neighborhood mom or dad or of, of someone in the community to help be a part of making a change. Be a part of the change. Be a part of the process. You know, they always say, um, be the change you yes. want to see. Yes, But in order to be the change you want to see, you got to do something. Yes, ma'am. And that's what you're doing. You're moving. And you're inviting the community to be a part as well. Thank you so much. You've been watching Street Talk with Loretta Rose here on Bean TV. Remember, life is about what you make of it. That what you put out, it has a way of coming back. Until next time, you be blessed.